All right, now it's time to put in some femoral lines, okay? And remember, from lateral to medial, you're talking about nerve, artery, vein, yahoo, just kidding. It's nerve, artery, vein, empty space, lymph going from lateral to medial. So the key thing here is always going to be the artery, palpating the artery and going from there. So our vein is going to be what? Nerve, artery, vein. The vein is going to be just a little bit medial to the artery. Which kit should you use? Well, you can use any kit that you need. You might use a 7 French 3 lumen kit uh, for your femoral venous line if you don't need a lot of volume. Now, of course, if you do or if you need to put in a swan, then you'd put in an introducer. Don't be afraid of putting lines in the groin. For example, if there's an anterior mediastinal mass and they're messing around up by the superior vena cava and the anominate, well, you actually need access from below. So get used to the idea of putting in femoral lines. Also, contrary to popular belief, femoral lines do not get infected more than regular lines. That is a myth. So you're going to want to put in a little bit of local as always. And when you're putting in a femoral venous line, you notice I'm using the hollow needle here, the hollow needle, uh, because it can be kind of deep, particularly in some of the bigger patients. You go in and it's always the same thing, Seldinger technique. You go in, you get your blood flow, make sure it's dark, it's not bright. One handy thing about putting an ephemeral line is if you do screw up and put something in the femoral artery, it's not the end of the world. If you put something in the carotid up in the neck, well, then we have a problem. But if you screw up down here and put something in the femoral artery, not the end of the world. So you get your blood flow, you hold the needle real carefully, you put your wire in. Seldinger technique is the same for whatever line you use. And then you pull the needle out and now you have your wires in the femoral vein. You put in your dilator. Make a little nick here. After that, you slide your catheter in. You can see the wire is coming out through the brown hub. That is the most distal hub. Just the same as in the, when you put a line in the neck. Slide the thing in, and once it's all the way in, you pull the wire out. At this point, you want to make sure that you aspirate all the air out and flush all three of your lines. So you make sure that you don't get any clots in there. 